Hi everyone, my name is Talmud and this is my wife Shalette and we're doing a series called Sifter Session where we talk about uh, what it's like to have a family and being a freelance at the same time. Uh, so today we're going to talk about uh, what it's like being creative at 8 a.m. So being creative at 8 a.m., uh, I'm going to share a few of my experiences and maybe uh, like a few tips. Yeah, and we're also going to talk about uh, like how the family or partner can help with their creativity or not help. Definitely. <laughs> so being creative at 8 is maybe not the easiest thing to do. So how do you make that happen? I remember uh, when I was studying, uh, I could be creative whenever I wanted and that was awesome, beautiful. That changed once it became my day job and Monday morning at 8 a.m. you just mm. expect it to boom, have a great idea. Sometimes that isn't the case or a lot of, <laughs> lot of times it's not the case. So I've had to learn a couple of techniques that work for me to speed up the process and get me into the zone quicker. Um, and I guess that's going to that's gonna be a little bit different for everyone, but uh, um, maybe these tips will, will help out. So you were so disappointed when you were finished at school and sat there at 8 a.m. and were supposed to create something beautiful and then yeah, just well, silence. Yeah, nothing, well, I... Nothing, <laughs> nothing came out. Nothing. Well, I guess I, when I was in school, I was like really looking forward to having a lot of time to, to do all the creative stuff and finally be able to just go all in. <laughs> And then you realize uh, that there's a lot more to it, I guess. So as you mentioned in the beginning, you maybe had some tools, tips you could share with everyone? Yeah. Uh, so I uh, very often uh, I use this metaphor. So think of a, a painter uh, that's going to paint a picture. And uh, uh, it's a great big white canvas. And uh, he's going to paint the most beautiful thing ever. In my mind, that that's impossible. Uh, what could be easier, at least for me in my mind, is if I was told you're gonna paint something really beautiful, uh, mm -hmm. but you're only allowed to use squares and uh, green and yellow is the colors you're gonna use. Mm -hmm. That would for me spark a lot of creativity right there because then I, I would start, okay, that means I'm working within these boundaries uh, and it's a bit counterintuitive, but uh, it works. Hmm. Uh, that's a bit interesting because in my experience, you have to start way outside the lines or mm -hmm. outside the box just to to get every opportunity before you narrow it down, kind of. Yeah. So that's a, a yeah different way. Yeah, of well, doing I, it. like because I guess, it's music. I guess sometimes it could work. Yeah, uh, for you it does work. Work maybe. the other way uh, as well. You could do an example like, uh, oh, I'm only going to use uh, eighth notes for this melody. I'm all, I'm going to restrict myself to a rhythmic. Uh, thing or I could do oh I'm gonna use uh, only this scale or I'm only gonna use these three chords or uh, within that that sparks a lot of creativity for me doing this whole creative thing uh, the days I'm not able to come up with anything good uh, well I, I feel I feel like I'm, I'm not successful at all I, I, I probably should quit I'm, I'm such such a horrible musician I, I, don't, I don't know enough music theory uh, I, I, I'm, I'm not good at this and uh, how, how's that to live with uh, someone like that? that of course like you you are mentioning you have your ups and downs mm -hmm. we can say that so can say that. obviously I can't do the work for you but what I can help doing is that to make you feel better about yourself mm -hmm. which is say when you come home and you feel like you haven't done the best job <laughs> ever <laughs> And then I can do something that make you feel better. So in my experience, I have found a few things that I can see that cheers you up. And one thing is that when you come home and have maybe a showing me a track of some kind, I... So I maybe have something to show. Yeah, you, may, yeah, you do like, a lot of times. I, I made this. <laughs> <laughs> and I listen to it and I try to find uh, a detail, what I think, what I think is good mm -hmm. about the music and not just like saying, Oh, it was awesome, good, mm. good job. And uh, not that I know the craft, I don't know everything, but I could find something that I, that I love and mm. that I can tell you. And this shows and that, that you've been paying attention when, when you listen to it. 
Yeah, or actually ask you questions like, oh, why did you have a piano come in there? Or why did you yeah. do like a violin? Uh, la la <laughs> la la. That's nice. Cheers me up. And of course, I also have my bad days. Mm. When I'm not give you, giving you a compliment you because do. I'm thinking about the invoices, the job you did get, didn't get, I don't know, I have to ask mm -hmm. you, and you come home and you're in this creative flow and I... No, I'm not. I'm, I might be d depressed. <laughs> you could be depressed. <laughs> like... And you're like not in the mood of answering any of that. And I didn't see that because I just thought that in my world I have to get these things organized, I have to know this, I have to know this. And that's not the greatest thing to do when you are getting on a creative flow and I am keep asking you about administration stuff. So maybe the key here is to know when to ask questions like that, like mm -hmm. the administration stuff and maybe not do that when just when I feel like it, but think where are you at right now? Before I we've had get some, to that part. Yeah, we've had some like uh, budget meetings actually. Yes. From time I to love time. them. I know you I love, love them. them. I know yeah. you love them. We you had our coffee, have... we have our chocolate, we just talk money. You want to have budget meetings every day. Every day. But we can't have that. So. <laughs> oh, it's going to ruin your creativity. So, yes, definitely. <laughs> Most certainly. Most certainly. Yeah. But uh, the times we've actually sat down and kind of planned it and mm. uh, ate some chocolate, drank some coffee, then we're in a better mood. Mm. And if you open the door, did you pay that invoice? Yeah, it's not the best. And you but I, I've never done that. I've never no. like. No, of course no. not. No. Oh. I've just always lightened the candle before I ask the question. <laughs> so we talked about a couple of tips for being creative, a couple of tips for uh, supporting a creative, <laughs> uh, and and maybe you guys have uh, some tips for me. Uh, I would love to read them. And uh, uh, probably for, for us as a family yeah. as well, let's start a conversation about this and so write some comments down below about what works for you. Uh, and we'll be back next Monday uh, with a new topic. Until then, have a great week.